Greetings folks, I now have the Atom RC Dolphin Pro flying very nicely. Uh, I have the flight control board back in here. Uh, the Atom RC Navi Deluxe flight control board. Uh, 6S, 18650s, just two 3S blocks together. Uh, I have the CG just on the back of the CG marks there. Um, the main change that I showed in the last video was that I put two washers under each of the bottom mounting points for the motor giving it about 0.8 millimeter extra thrust angle there. I think that's probably made the biggest difference but I will remove those washers and fly again just to see if we can go back to the bad behavior. Um, I'm also on INAV 8.01 um, standard Elevon mix although I've got 70 on the elevator and 40 on the ailerons. No elevator on the tail, uh, just some rudder to play with. I didn't like the, uh, in the end I thought the elevator on the tail was just acting like brakes, not like a proper elevator, so it was doing weird things. So, pure Elevon mix, um, standard INAV PIDs, uh, I did increase the feed forward just to give enough throw, 80% of the manual throws. Uh, I've removed the electrical connectors here and just putting the servo wire straight through uh, just because they were becoming unreliable with the wings popping off all the time. I do have them taped on but it, they, the wings still pop off anyway. In the flight that I did um, I had a board pitch trim of about 3 degrees and it was descending a little bit in angle mode so I'm going to increase that to 4 degrees for the next flight. Walk snail moonlight up on the top there and uh, that's oh actually and i had auto servo trim on and you can see it has trimmed up the elevons by about five millimeters so uh, i'm going to move the cg back a little bit to see if we can get rid of the reflex but it may be that we just need that reflex and the thrust angle to get it flying nicely at least my model does of course they may vary but uh, compared to my first flights with this it is just a, a different plane altogether it's actually flying very very smoothly I did have a little bit of sort of pitch surfing in cruise mode to start off with, but that disappeared after a while. Um, so possibly the servo trim has fixed that, I'm not too sure. But we'll make a few little adjustments and go and fly again and uh, see how we go. But let's go and have a look at the INAV setup on the computer now. Well, it was fun trying to do an INAV setup with a needy cat on your lap. Come on, sit down. So INAV 8.0.1, did my own calibration. Started with uh, the stock flying wing setup. See it up there. Uh, but I increased the elevator part of it to 70 and 70 and reduced the aileron part to 40-40. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> I've got that cat playing with my microphone. Conventional wisdom says that you should keep this to 50-50 or um, a sum of 100, but with my experiments, I've found that you can go up to 75-75 without ever um, overdriving the signal. So you can be a little bit more flexible with your mixes here to get the right amount of throw. And on the rudder, I just have stabilized your 50% um, mix. I could put that servo in a hole and have a 100% mix, but uh, I've just left everything on the outer holes to start off with. That rudder actually worked very nicely too. It, um, uh, it is far enough away from the CG and the surfaces are big enough and the fins are vertical enough to actually work like proper rudders. So that was interesting. Configuration, I have continuously trim servos on uh, for fixed wing and it did end up being trimmed up by about five millimeters which is interesting so I'll move the CG back a little bit to try and uh, reduce that but that may just be where it needs to be someone has said in the uh, general discussion about the Pro that you need five mil of reflex tuning it's just the standard PIDs but I've increased the feed forward on uh, pitch I think just to give me enough throws to be confident 
additional PID gains. I did reduce this uh, position Z down to 25 for P and 5 for derivative. Uh, someone said that will reduce the amount of um, pitch surfing or pitch porpoising uh, in INAV 8, but uh, it didn't get rid of it in totally to start off with, but it did go away uh, further into the flight, so that is quite interesting. Rates in Expo, they are just the stock INAV rates and uh, roll rates and pitch rate and your, your rate. Could play with them, I suppose, but it seems to be very good as it is. Um, and the level trim in the flight that I did, I had it on three and it was descending a bit in angle mode, so I've bumped it up to four for the next flight now. Advanced tuning. I left it on 1400 cruise throttle and that was giving a nice sort of five, six amp cruise. Modes, I have uh, arm, angle, manual, cruise, loiter, return to home and, and a beeper in case I lose it in the long grass. Alignment tool, uh, the board is rotated 180 degrees and in the original stock setup and zero for pitch and zero for roll. In the stock, in the factory setup, they actually put in the board pitch trim here. So they put three degrees of pitch for the board in this screen here, rather than putting it in the, um, the board pitch trim section under mechanics. So that was interesting. They had three degrees there. And that is about it. So it's flying very well in INAV now. Uh, most things are fixed, I think. Just it needs a little bit of tweaking, uh, but it's a totally different wing to the one that I first flew, the first Maiden. So this is the first INAV re-Maiden after all my changes, starting off in Acro, and it's all very encouraging because it just flies smoothly. Switch it into loiter to put the goggles down. There is a decent wind coming from the sea, like about 15 to 20 knot, uh, 15 to 20 kilometers an hour. So we're doing very, very well in that side wind. There's a little bit of prop vibration, unfortunately. So I'll balance the prop for the next flight. And first thing I do, test it in angle mode to see whether it's descending or ascending. And it is sort of slowly descending, which means the pitch board trim needs to be increased a little bit so in this flight it is three degrees I'll pop it up to four degrees to see how we go flying along at about uh, five six amps at about 40 50 percent throttle this is cruise mode. You can see a little bit of porpoising here. Didn't actually notice this through the goggles, but it's definitely there. And as you'll see, this goes away later on. The current during the launch got up to about, oh, mid-teens, uh, 17, 18 amps, which is a bit of a stress for the 18650s. They are, they're rated at 15 amps, my 18650s, so it can handle it and can certainly fly along at um, 10 amps pretty happily. But yeah, four, five amps was the current. Testing in manual now just to see that my throws aren't too ridiculous and they're all very good. Even though they're quite large throws, uh, seems to be appropriate for this plane. Ramping up the throttle a bit to see if it's going to be climbing, uh, seeing if the thrust angle is, is uh, affecting anything. Need to do that in manual of course because Acro will counteract that. So higher throttle, 75%. 13, 14 amps or so. I think we switch to manual here soon, hopefully. Manual, in manual, ramping up the throttle and it's, uh, it's not doing anything radical. So that means, that tells me that the thrust angle is good.
Now we're in cruise mode and you can see we don't have much dolphining anymore. It's keeping nice and steady. So this is showing me that uh, the Dolphin Pro is a very nice smooth cruiser rather than a speed machine. Um, I'd probably prefer the original Dolphin if you want to go fast, uh, but for a smooth uh, camera carrying craft this is, uh, this is very nice indeed. Alright so we're bringing it in and uh, next flight uh, we'll have the 4 degrees of pitch trim and we'll see how we go with that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.